assalamu alaikum in today's lecture we shall talk about mathematical modeling of liquid level systems liquid level systems uh, are very common in many industrial processes for example in chemical industry you have to control the level of liquids uh, and uh, there are many more examples of liquid level systems so uh, the strategy that is utilized to obtain mathematical model for liquid level systems is to write mass balance equations uh, that is uh, let's consider this uh, simple system where with uh, a tank and there is an inflow of liquid into the tank and there is an outflow and we know that uh, in a small time interval inflow rate minus outflow rate multiplied by that small time that is equal to the differential change in the stored amount of the liquid inside this tank so this mass balance equation can be utilized to obtain mathematical model for liquid level systems in uh, liquid level systems basically there are two types of flow the laminar flow and turbulent flow uh, by laminar flow we mean that uh, liquid particles are moving in the same direction as is the flow of the uh, liquid uh, and in turbulent flow the particles uh, have a different uh, direction of displacement than that of the flow of the flu fluid generally if the head or level of the liquid uh, is very high or if there is an obstruction in the flow of fluid the flow is turbulent uh, for low heads and low levels the flow of fluids uh, of liquids is laminar flow in the case of a laminar flow the flow rate is proportional to head of the liquid level of the liquid the proportionality constant is k in case of uh, turbulent flow the flow rate uh, is proportional to the square root of the held uh, of the li liquid inside for example some tank let's uh, apply this knowledge to obtain mathematical model for this process we have an inflow rate and an outflow rate and the level of the liquid is h of t uh, during a short time brief time interval delta t the inflow rate uh, qi minus the outflow rate q naught multiplied by differential time that is equal to differential change in the volume of the fluid inside this tank uh, here delta h is the small change in the head or in the height of the uh, liquid inside tank and A is the cross-sectional area of this tank. So the same expression can be rewritten like this one uh, A brought to the right hand side and delta T to the left hand side as this delta T uh, tends to zero that is for a very brief time instant this e equation uh, is transformed into a differential equation furthermore we know that this q naught that is this outflow rate uh, for the case of turbulent flow is proportional to the square root of uh, head of the liquid inside this tank that is q naught is equal to k multiplied by square root of h by substituting this expression into the equation uh, we have uh, this differential equation dh by dt is equal to 1 over a multiplied by inflow rate minus k multiplied by square root of the head of the liquid this equation is a mathematical model for this liquid level system let's uh, now talk about a little bit more complex system here we have uh, a liquid level system coupled liquid tank system that is available in our lab control system design lab it consists of uh, three cylindrical tanks 
uh, we name these tanks uh, as uh, tank 1 and uh, tank 3 and tank 2. There is a pump at the bottom of this tank which pumps the fluid from this tank into this tank and water flows from this tank 3 into tank 2 by, uh, through this pipe uh, by the gravitational effects and water from this tank 2 flows into tank uh, 1 through this uh, pipe. Uh, there are sensors in each tank uh, to measure the level of the liquid inside the tank and we want to obtain mathematical model for uh, this three tank system, copper liquid tank system. Obtaining mathematical model for uh, this tank 1 and tank 3 is quite easy. Uh, for tank 1, uh, there is uh, uh, an inflow. Inflow is from tank 2 into the tank 1 and this uh, outflow from tank 2 is proportional to the square root of the level of the liquid inside tank 2. That is uh, H2 square root of H2 multiplied by C2. This proportionality constant depends upon the cross-sectional area of this pipe, uh, viscosity of the fluid uh, and upon the gravitational constant etc. So for tank 1 there is an inflow rate and there is an outflow rate. The outflow uh, is because of the uh, water pump which pumps the uh, wa pumps water from this tank into this tank. So outflow rate of the pump is U. So differential change in volume A1 multiplied by dH1. Uh, so we have this equation for tank 1. Similarly for tank uh, 2 there is an inflow. Inflow is because of the pump and there is an outflow. The outflow rate is proportional to the level of the liquid, square root of the level of the liquid inside this tank. So here C3 multiplied by square root of H3 is the outflow rate and here is the inflow rate and area, cross-sectional area of this tank multiplied by uh, this dH3 is the differential change in volume. So we have this differential equation. For tank 2, obtaining mathematical model is a little bit uh, complex. Uh, we write uh, the equation over here and uh, make further discussion on this equation on the next slide. So here uh, we have uh, shown, uh, shown uh, tank 2 uh, and uh, in a differential time, the level of the liquid drops from this level into this level. That is, during differential time, this much uh, is the change in the level of the liquid. And uh, we know that inflow rate minus outflow rate multiplied by differential time is equal to differential change in the volume of the liquid inside tank. So we are interested in determining this uh, volume of uh, uh, this uh, cuboid and volume of this cuboid is equal to uh, this length, length of the tank multiplied by this length, uh, multiplied by this height, differential height dH2. This length uh, is known to us uh, and this length uh, that depends upon the level of the liquid. For example, if level is very uh, low, then this length will be uh, small. If uh, level of the liquid is high uh, up to the middle point, then this uh, length will be larger. So we are uh, we want to find this length in terms of radius of the uh, this cylindrical tank. Uh, if we look uh, this cylinder from the front, uh, we have this situation: cel circular uh, tank and uh, the level of the liquid inside this tank is denoted by H. Uh, it must be H2. Uh, the radius of this uh, cylinder is R, that is this length and also this length is R. How much is this length? This length is equal to uh, total length R minus the 
level of the liquid that is from here to here we have r minus h so uh, what is this length this length can be determined by applying the Pythagoras theorem that is uh, square of this length minus square of this length whole square root that will result into this length that is uh, from here to here we have r square minus r minus h whole square whole square root what is this total length that is uh, from here to here th that is shown in this diagram from here to here it is twice this length so now we can uh, apply the mass balance equation to this cylindrical tank uh, the area if we look uh, the uh, uh, this cylinder from the top uh, this is a rectangle and rectangle of uh, area of this rectangle is uh, this length L L multiplied by this length this length is twice of this length that is L multiplied by 2 into square root of R square minus R minus H whole square that is the area of uh, this uh, this rectangle and that area uh, depends upon the level of the liquid therefore we have written it as a function of a height or head of the level uh, liquid so area multiplied by differential change in the height that is the differential volume change in differential uh, volume uh, that is equal to uh, inflow into tank 2 minus outflow from the from tank 2 multiplied by differential time therefore uh, we have uh, this equation uh, rearranging this equation we have uh, this equation here uh, h here this h is basically h2 so uh, this uh, equation along with uh, two equations on the previous slide uh, that describe the mathematical model for this coupled liquid tank system in the next lecture we shall talk about mathematical modeling of uh, pneumatic systems